Now next we move to as to what is statistics. Economics as we have seen is the study of finance money. But what is statistics? Statistics is in fact the study of economics but in a quantitative information. That is when numbers are added. That is the time that economics becomes statistical in nature. When we talk of statistics, when we talk of it in a singular sense, it means the collection of data, the classification of data and the usage of it. But when I talk of statistics in plural sense, it ultimately means the complete data which is available. This is in fact seeming to be the primary stage of statistics and this is the secondary stage of statistics. While we are collecting information, while we are putting them, while we are presenting them, that is the time we talk of statistics in singular sense. But when we have come to the final conclusion, when the results have been drawn, that is the time it is statistics in plural sense. Well, the most important is that in statistics we talk in terms of quantity. For example, I say 20% of the Indians are unemployed. So, I am using the quantity 20% that is in numbers in figures. When I am talking of economics in approach of quantity number that is the time we talk of statistics. Now, let us talk of the stages involved in making of statistical data. In fact, there are five stages in making the statistics data. Now, this is the study and these are the tools. In the first stage of the study of the data, we have to first of all collect the data. We have to find out what is how and where and how much. Now, this collection can be done. Now, what is the tool involved? How do we get it? One tool can be by the census process. Next, after I have collected the data, I will have to organize it. I will have to put it in right way. When I am organizing it, how do I do? There are many methods, but one can be the method of tally bars. Okay, I have collected it, I have organized it, that is from the first stage to the second stage. Let me move on to the third stage. I will be putting that organized data into presentation. Okay, when I am presenting that data, I can do it by say the method of graphs. Okay, I have collected, I have organized, I have presented also, but now is left the process of analysis, the process of knowing what it is. When I am analyzing it, I will be analyzing since it is statistics in quantity. So, I will be doing it in the form of percentage or in the form of averages. Okay, after I have analyzed, I am going to interpret that data. I am going to tell this is my interpretation, this is what I have found out. So, interpretation is in fact the tool can be the magnitude of the economic variables, the relationship between the economic variables. So, just remember that in the making of the statistical data, I am collecting, organizing, presenting, analyzing and then interpreting. And the tools can be the census, the tally bars, the graphs, the percentage and the magnitude. When I talk of the magnitude of the economic variables, this we shall be doing in details later on. But simply here it means what is their interrelationship of the economic variables that is the things which generate money for the people. 